Good afternoon, New Jersey. Let's see if uh, any of you have been here before. I think it's an Arm and Hammer place. With, uh, gun range right back there. I remember that. Air conditioning heating. Right. I like when I got signs like this. All truck traffic. Church and Dwight. Church and Dwight. Urban Hammer, I guess. I didn't know the Church and Dwight was Urban Hammer. I don't know. But do not know. We'll be able to stay behind this guy. Let's see if I uh, leave myself an out. Get up there and talk to somebody. See if we have to move our truck. So if you're trying to deliver early and your BOL has no appointment date on it, the least amount of information you can give uh, them is, is the better. Just say it was an appointment for, uh, I think, noon. And uh, it was a 9 a.m. for tomorrow. So they couldn't find it in the system. And um, finally, they just kind of said, I can't find it. Just go to door 22. So if you would have said, hey, my appointment's for tomorrow, there could have been probability that they were like, uh, okay, well, you got to come back tomorrow. So just least amount of information you can give them. Say they told me 9 a.m. or not noon when it was 9 a.m., but it had nothing written on there. So a little bit of a white lie, but it gets it off your truck a day sooner and that gets you back on the road a day sooner. So it's more money in your pocket, more freedom. So if you get a door right off the bat from security, I like to open my doors as soon as possible so I don't have to do it again. So I just broke the seal, opened the doors, got the straps off, and then uh, he said door 22. So let's see what we got. A lot of Swift trailers here. Got the Schneider. Swift. I actually uh, know more than the average guy about Swift, I guess. Uh, Jerry Moist is the guy who originally started Swift. He lives in Arizona and he has eight adopted children. It's uh, all right, what do we do here? Do we go left right here? That's for cars. Anyways, um, he gives his wife, him and his wife separated. Uh, he moved on. Uh oh, okay, he's back in this thing. Him and his wife originally drove a truck together, like team. I don't know if she drove, but she was with him a lot. And that's how they started a truck company back in Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, and then they merged with Knight. Knight was like one of their friends. I don't know what his name was, but Jerry Moyes. This guy uh, was a Barry Jackson car auction and stuff out there. Just buying up cars, making so much money. Um, what are we doing here? All right. Sorry, man. You going that way? But he gives his wife $65,000 a month allowance, like a uh, alimony. Ooh, this is going to be tight. I stood my doors open. He's staying wide over there. Cleared it by a foot. My door is open. I don't want to rip that off. I need it. Yeah, that's who I uh, look up Jerry Moist. And like one of my friends in uh, Arizona kind of knew and talked to a little bit. I wouldn't say really dated for long term, but one of the adopted children. Uh, I think her name, yeah, her name was Tasha or something. And uh, Katie, our uh, trucking wife, actually knew her too. She worked with her at a salon. So she had a house that was probably like 7,000 square foot custom made, like castle style. I was like, whoa, man, that's how much Swift is making out here. So they definitely have the uh, market covered with the truck trailers. I, I would imagine Schneider's the same. Let's get out of these uh, amazing bottles. That's my story on Swift. Kind of a little bit of backstory that I know more than the average clam, I guess. We are getting unloaded. It shouldn't be that hard because there's four 55 gallon drums on one pallet, so they should be able to get them off. There's 48 drums, so 24 pallets. I don't see door 22 anywhere. I don't see any doors, so I guess we're going all the way around because I saw like one through five on the front. Probably should paved out this road, I don't know. Might have been a good idea, who knows. The streets out here too, they're really, um, I wouldn't say different, they are different, but you can't, like you have to take a right turn and take a left turn. You have to come off like the little roundabouts. All you do on the little side streets is go back to the left. Like there's no left turns. There's a big medium with like a dark road. A little different, a little different. All right, we got a Swifty right here. 
You know, we should have North 22 somewhere over here. Nine, there we go, that's a good start. You know what they're actually making at this plant. Oh, what do we got here? 14, 15, so 22's gotta go down there where that red truck is. Now I kinda wanna set up through this little shower thing, but no, I don't think so. No, that's like a good idea. That little thing I would left there, I think. No, it's like a hoist system, it's not a shower. Let me fill them up with whatever chemicals or take the chemicals off, whatever they're. So in this tight area, you want to bring your trailer close as you can to the left, and then shoot out to the right. Once I clear that little weird thing back there. He's 21, so I'm right next to him. I'm gonna shoot past that snow pile and up to that red uh, trash can. I'm really trying to get your trailer over there first though, so I can swing back around. Then stay to the left, kick it to the right, and then try to come back to the left. So your trailer can kick you back give you enough to get back over there. See how far we get now. We're kind of going to have to jimmy it because we're right at his truck now. We'll look at all these poles, keep track of them. We got poles everywhere. Oh yeah. You can kind of see we're right on him. So We got to jimmy over a little bit. It's a jimmy jimmy. Right. We don't want to hit our nose on this pole. So we get past it. Cut hard. I don't know if this is gonna work because I don't have enough room with him right behind me. But, uh, try to make it work. This should be a time lapse. This is gonna take a while. Cause there's no way I'm getting where he's at. All right, yeah, that's not gonna work. Cause I'm still right on him. Oh, let's see. Yeah. We'll come back in that one next to him. Oh, it's close to that trash can. Do not want to take off of me. Just wait till you're done. Yeah, he's trying to see if I'm gonna go uh, this way or that way, and I said, I don't know, man. Well, I just stay up here till you're done. There's no way I'm getting well back in. Back on. Yeah, we just can't get back that pole with that trash can. How's he gonna get out? Does he have to go left? Probably. If that wasn't there, we'd be all right. But it is. No worries. We'll wait. Well, that wasn't bad. About an hour. Let's go close these doors. And uh, lots of loads up here, but just they're all right. Two dollars a mile, but some are really heavy. A couple three dollars a mile, but they're really short. So up here, you think, oh, it's only fifty miles away. That's uh, that's easy to get to. Not up here. It takes like an hour and a half, two hours. A lot of toll roads. So we shall see. Probably 
head down Richmond area. Um, see if I can get some down there. But uh, we're unloaded. Day early. Woo. Well, okay, Uber Freight with the uh, 36 miles of deadhead. Almost $3 a mile. Right back home. I'll take that. How about a little New Jersey vibe? St. Mary's of the Lake. St. Mary of the Lake. We're taking Highway 9 north for about 20 miles. And that's where we are. We're nice that it was so close. I didn't think Uber Freight would have a, a great rate, but it's Amazon load. And uh, it's going right to Spartanburg, right where I live. So the lessons for that one. A little heavy, 32 I think it is. <laughs> heavier than when I came up here, but here is New Jersey. I am right where we're picking up is about five to ten miles southwest of uh, this is uh, Jewish. I don't know what the how the name, the uh, Amish, maybe I don't know, all black and white. What else? Jewish Amish. They're getting out of some kind of gathering. But yeah, the Statue of Liberty be right there. Right where uh, truck and wife and I stopped when we bought that big white monster truck my kids call it. That is where I will be picking it up. About five to ten miles from the Statue of Liberty. Pretty cool. That looks the same as mostly any other city, but uh, this is New Jersey. Well, I sure am glad that I'm heading south, or northbound. Southbound's a little rough. And we're about to go over some water right here, and this water, if you can follow it off to the, um, out to the right and go up to the left, that's where the Statue of Liberty is, so. In case any of you were wondering where that is. Statue of Liberty. You're only one mile from our exit. No trucks wrecking the Fontaine's Got a Toyota passing us. Got a box truck going really slow. Play by play. But yeah, that water right there will take you right to the Statue of Liberty around the bend. Dino sent us a little email to Truck and Wife and uh, kind of gave us some tips on the toll roads. We already kind of tried to stay off of them, but that was nice of him to help us out even more. And then whoever was in that yellow uh, dump right there, right there, I just saw a kind of yellow dump truck. Uh, good seeing you, man. Gave me a couple toots of the horn and gave you a wave. So, uh, hope you have a great day, man. And let's find out where the heck we're going. Point two miles on the right. Four hundred and fifty feet. Three two six in the street. That's where we're supposed to be going. Small little spot. Let's see what we got. Solid logistics. All right. Looks like on the map it was towards the very back. So let's see. What we
two guy outside the truck, so I'm going to try to teach him how to uh, back the truck. Hmm. I don't know. That's nice of him to try to help him. You got it, man, container. And I don't want to block all this, so no one's behind me. I might put it back there again where it said stop there because tight quarters in here. There's a small couple cubicles weird office but nice people and they said uh well check out the reviews in this place first this guy's still trying to back in here he's got a day cab and a 48 foot trailer so we got to go to door three right next to this yellow truck so got a little more room but uh definitely not as much not that much room down there but right here we should be good let's let's try it out let's give this a rip once again we'll stay Kind of more towards the left, but more towards the middle because you got to be able to swing back around. Uh, door three's got a big block next to it. It'll be all right. It shouldn't be that bad. We should be okay. If you were down here where these containers are, yeah, you'd be, uh, you'd be hurting. You're still going to be hurting, but not as bad. Not as bad. take some pull-ups but hey not too bad a little finagle in that I don't like that line I'm about two feet over the back side so I'm gonna come up a little bit more there's a big cinder block back there truck there? Mm -mm. Not happening. There's another truck next to me. Too close, come back. <sighs> See if that's good. Whew. That's fun, right? Well, that was quick. Only about an hour Time to finish. Now, there's two options you can take. You can go back down 95. Oh, oh, oh that's some traction there get home or you can go up to 81 so we're gonna go up to 81 just because it's three well four o'clock now a lot of traffic through Baltimore Philly and uh, Washington DC so we'll just take the top road and come back down through Fancy Gap probably make it to Charlotte and shut it down there and then, um, doesn't deliver till six o'clock tonight tomorrow night so I'll probably go home in the morning see the kids and wait till six deliver and then come back home, probably wait for Thursday to get something else. Give me another kid day. Go to the park. Maybe we'll have some good weather and figure out what we can do. But as of right now, let's get up to 81. I'm hungry. Need some dinner. What a pretty day. 64 degrees. You wouldn't think New Jersey would be uh, this beautiful. I mean, you think New Jersey, you think kind of like New York, that area. But this is New Jersey right here coming into Pennsylvania off of 78 westbound. Uh, Really pretty stuff. It's 
speaking of pretty, yeah, well, let's have Truck and Wife tell us about the giveaway for this month. Ended on November 21st, and uh, here's how you enter to win it. All we ask you, please like and subscribe. We love and thank every one of you for making our channel grow as much as it has. It's been a blessing. Um, not only for our interaction with you, but also, of course, the financial for uh, Truck and Wife. All the proceeds go to her. And uh, we got some packages that came today that could be shirts and hats. I think we'll go and check that out tomorrow. And a certain envelope that came uh, that could be a piece of paper that's pretty hard to get in this industry. So it'll be uh, nice to hold that if it, if it is what I think it is. So. All right, here's Truck and Wife. Tell us about that giveaway. For the giveaway this month, we're going to be doing it just a little bit differently than we normally do. We're going to be giving away a Connex or a Striker CB radio. Justin will insert the pictures here. So you get to pick between one or the other and let us know which one you'd like. But here's the difference of how we're going to do the giveaway this month. We're going to ask that you be in the chat room during the live. You have to be in there to win the prize. The link will be in the description. You click sign up. And then on November 21st, when we choose the winners, we're going to choose a list. And we'll start at number one. And the winner that is number one will say your name, send you an email, and you have a couple seconds to get back to us. If you don't get back to us and you're not in the chat, we go to the next one and so on and so forth until we get a winner, which we're really excited about. I know it's a little bit different, but we like to switch it up. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. If you haven't clicked that like or subscribe button, please do that. We appreciate you so much and God bless. Good luck. There she is. Thanks for telling us about that, Truck and Wife. Um, if you ever want to catch us live, question and answers, 9 p.m. on Saturday. We've been doing it so far, I think, 23 weeks straight. Um, God willing that I'm uh, allowed to be home. So if you could please like, subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel. And we thank you so much for everyone that's uh, liked and subscribed already. We're, we're vastly approaching 30,000 subscribers, and that is awesome, guys. It's all because of you. So um, let's get down this mountain and edit this video. God bless you all. Uh, apparel should be coming soon. We just put the order in for the logos um, and Kaz gear. Can't thank them enough. Uh, Kaz Kaz gear. C A Z G E A R. Up in upstate New York, uh, Brian. He is amazing. And thank you so much, bud. Couldn't have done it without you. The learning curve was definitely flattened with you helping us. So yeah, God bless. Tomorrow we should have a good video from the house. Uh, hopefully, I have some in the mail. That's pretty exciting for me. Um, but forty-seven hundred dollars in two days uh, it was a grind. We kind of told him uh, we didn't know what our appointment was, but uh, if he gets it off your truck, hey, it's all good. So yeah, let's make sure U.S. Express stays in our lane. They're good. They're good. This sure is pretty out here, though. But we're almost to Allentown, PA, about to cross the line, and then we got another six hundred till we're home. So see if we can make that get close. And I'll probably stop in Charlotte. All right, guys. God bless.